the representation of strings here. Okay, so we had seen how strings are represented in terms of binary uh, and, and bytes and memory. Now, let's simplify this representation by using just a, a set of contents, just like we did for primitives, and variables. So we'll go again representing line by line. So short a equals 500, then that means I'm going to create a variable a, which content 500. Then the next line says int b equals 35, so b is going to have the contents 35. This is how we represent primitives. Double c equals 3.4, so c equals 3.4. And then d, which is here, is character d equals h, so we can say d equals h. <clears throat> and now, when we get to a string, for example, string greet equals hello, what we're going to do is say string d, because d is a pointer, okay? D, I mean, sorry, string greet, greet. Because greet is a pointer to some other place in memory where hello is stored, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do this little arrow here, and let's point, let's say hello is going to be there. So here we write hello. That's what greet is. Okay, greet points to where hello is. Now, let's have another integer, by. Okay, and by points to the actual string by. So let's, let's do that. By here points to where by is going to be stored. Let's say by is going to be stored over here. And we'll say by. Okay, and then now here's something interesting. String high equals variable greet. Okay, string high equals variable greet. So we're going to put, say, here string high. We're going to call it high. And that goes to variable greet. We go to greet over here. That jumps us all the way to this space in memory. So the string high should also point to here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this string high also points to hello okay string high also points to hello here all right then uh, we have another one that says string high equals by so what we do at this point is we change we erase that and we point it to where where by is right because we say string high equals by so what happens is we look at by by is this little arrow that points to this location so if high is going to be equal to by okay if high is going to be equal to by then high should be pointing to the same place where by is pointing which was here okay oh and this is actually um, Okay, by. Okay. So I hope this clarifies strings. Primitives are stored with their values directly in memory. Strings and other objects are actually pointing. Whatever's here actually points to to the actual contents. Whatever's here actually points to the actual contents, and whatever's here actually here actually points to the actual contents. Actually, this. Or it should probably be like this. Okay. All right. So, again, primitives, you store the actual value. Objects, like a string, for example, you store a pointer to the contents of the variable. Okay. In this case here, by and high are pointing to the exact same location in memory, which contains the, which con which contains the word by with a capital B. In this case, by and high are going to be the exact same string, okay? They are equal, okay? They're equal to each other, all right? Two primitives are equal if they contain the same value here. Two objects are equal if they contain the same value here, which is basically, in this case, in the case of the strings, is the value here, the values here are the pointers to where by is. So this, this number is equal to this number because they both point to the same uh, contents. Okay? 
that's how strings are stored. Now, the next video will look at an example of tracing a little program like this.